Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching part one of my multi-part series of the construction of Tesla's lithium refinery plant here in Texas. Now, we've seen these renders and we have a lot of information, especially after my drone flight, about this site. And we're going to be covering a lot of that more in detail on the other parts of this series. But for part one, I thought we would start off with where is it located? Why was this location chosen by Tesla? And also some of the recent land purchases that Tesla has made that support not only the current construction, but also for potential future expansion uh, sometime after they start initial production. Now we'll begin this video with a high altitude animation flyover down to the site via Google Earth just to give you an idea of uh, where it is generally located in Texas. So I hope that you found that uh, this small animation was helpful. Now, the last time we got any in information from Tesla officially about this site was on May 8th, which was the groundbreaking ceremony. And you can see some of those activities here in this short video clip from that event. And we learned quite a bit of information that uh, on my subsequent drone flight on the 28th of August, about four months after that groundbreaking, that not only confirm with what we heard at that particular meeting, but also have added many more details and uh, have given me an opportunity to do some more deep dives and figure out what is actually going on with the plant. So let's first hear from Tesla during the groundbreaking about why they chose this particular site. Um, and a couple of points about you know this location. It, it really is an ideal location for um, uh, us to, to have this lithium refinery both because of the strong community support, but also the talent base that's in Corpus Christi in, the, in, in oil and gas refining actually is, is very applicable to what we're doing here. Uh, it's close to Austin. Uh, there's a really good deep water port so we can bring in uh, the spodumene, which is the rock input uh, to this refinery from uh, you know, all over North America through an easy path. And it's also directly on rail. Um, so we can also bring in the rock and the, send the outgoing product via rail. So truly an awesome site with a, a fantastic community support. Can't thank you enough um, and really excited to get this project in motion. It's interesting to hear that Tesla chose this location partly because of the deep water port that Corpus Christi has that allow large ships to bring in the spodumene concentrate, which is necessary to produce the lithium hydroxide. Also the nearby rail capability to link the port and the refinery. But they also mentioned the proximity to Austin. And frankly, there are other sites that are important to Tesla nearby as well. So let's discuss, if you take a look at this map, Giga Texas is only 209 miles or 336 kilometers to the north on easily accessible highways from the refinery. To the west at 121 miles or 195 kilometers is Laredo, Texas. And there they have an existing and operational cross-border checkpoint that is set aside for Tesla suppliers into Mexico. And that makes this uh, a very, very great location for the refinery because another 140 miles or 225 kilometers to the south of Laredo is where Giga Mexico is being constructed. And actually, if you add those two distances together, it's about uh, 260 miles or so, or about uh, 420 kilometers, which is not much difference than the distance to Giga Texas. So the refinery is in a very good location to help support both of the factories. Now let's turn our attention to the land purchases that Tesla has uh, completed to support not only the current construction, but the future expansion of the refinery. Now this information comes from the Nueces County Appraisal District. It's a public property search. The link is at the bottom of the screen and you can take a look at that if you would like to get more details. But essentially, Tesla has purchased 11 parcels of land uh, for the lithium refinery. And some of these parcels of land have just been recently purchased. Now, the total amount of land that they have purchased is about 1,600 acres or about 650 hectares. To give you a perspective, that's roughly half the size of Giga, Texas. So this is a immense amount of property that uh, Tesla has purchased. And uh, this gives them a lot of room for future expansion as well. In this image, I've taken the parcels of land plot and I've expanded it out so it's easier for you to see. I've color-coded in blue all of the properties that Tesla has purchased 
and I've overlaid here the yellow dotted line showing where the current phase of construction is underway. And this is what I showed you in my latest drone footage. You can tell that there is plenty of room for expansion once Tesla has uh, brought the production capability up to the initial uh, numbers that they are looking at. Uh, I've heard uh, that their initial targets are about uh, enough lithium hydroxide to support a million vehicles per year. Uh, also, with this amount of land expansion capability and the access to the deep water port and rail system, it looks to me like Tesla is preparing for future expansion of this refinery. Well, I hope that you found this discussion. The reason why Tesla chose this location, where it is actually located within Texas, and also some of the details about the land purchases that they have recently made that not only support the current construction, but also potential future expansion of this site uh, as Tesla continues to grow the production and its capabilities to do lithium processing here in Texas. So make sure you take a look at my next part, part two. We're going to be talking about some more details about the site that I noticed during my drone flight, specifically the pond. So make sure you check that video out uh, coming up next. So as always, thank you very much for your support. I do very much appreciate it. Take care.